press one again. Stop off. bubbles. Stop bubbles. They stop. No bubbles. Sorry. <laughs> bubbles getting everywhere. Bubbles all, yeah. all the games are actually uh, preloaded. Sorry, all the games are created by Gameloft. For some reason, it's games now, so I'm going to why I can't. That's the reason. Well, yeah, true. And, uh, which will drive you into a portal whereby you can actually purchase additional games. So, I mean, heavy games like um, Spider-Man, Ult Ultimate Spider-Man, you've got Avatar actually available on there, which I've actually downloaded. Um, you've got another game called Fishing Kings, as I've got here. You've got uh, Avatar, free, uh, sorry, uh, Real Football 2011. And are those the prices that they're at? And yeah, at the moment they're 99 pence. Uh, this is a promotional offer um, uh, for the time being. And um, yeah, at the moment it's doing quite well, actually. There's a lot of downloads, actually, from this site already. Cool. Uh, with regards to sort of how the handset's doing in yeah. comparison to other devices at the moment? It, well, at the moment, it's, at the moment, it's just it, we, we've kind of like softly launched through Car from Warehouse, so at the moment, it's tracking quite well. And will you be sort of launching on more devices or, or more retailers? Yeah, so um, uh, uh, car phone being the first, phones for you will actually come through as well. Okay. We've got uh, everything everywhere, Orange and T-Mobile. Um, we've got three as well. Um, so yeah, um, the only people that's missing is Vodafone and uh, on 2 or 2. Okay, and how well is it doing, uh, or do you think it will do against the kind of dual core devices? Yeah. The other dual core devices? Yes. Um, well, I think it will definitely stack up basically with the others, bearing in mind, as I said, it's it's a very powerful smartphone, um, you know, with a unique architecture. The point of difference being the 3D, obviously, which is hopefully going to be the hook. Well, yeah, it's an easier <laughs> sell than just, uh, exactly. just the Exactly. Exactly. But um, um, so we're, we're expecting, obviously, some, some some good things for that uh, for this uh, handset that's going forward. LG Optimus 3D. Um, got a nice 4.3 inch stereoscopic LCD, obviously to display your 3D content. Got two 5 megapixel cameras actually on the back here. We've got a unique 3D button here to actually take you into kind of like uh, what we call 3D space, which is a 3D menu. Um, the first thing I need to state, obviously, before I actually go into the 3D elements of the handset, is this is actually called very, very powerful smartphone. Um, it's a dual core uh, handset but with a unique architecture which features dual core dual channel, dual memory. What that means basically you'll have very seamless multitasking, power efficient handset, bearing in mind obviously it will, it's, under, uh, it's underpinning obviously the 3D technology so that you can really get a seamless uh, seamless uh, transactions or seamless motions necessarily when you're watching cool video content. So let's let's go into obviously kind of like the... Let's go into... Uh, the actual 3D itself, obviously, which is pretty much what everybody wants to see anyway. Yeah. Um, so this is the actual 3D uh, menu. It's a bit difficult to see, obviously, on a 2D sure, yeah. display. Um, and then obviously the sunlight's actually in the back, so I'm not sure if you're getting this well enough. But um, so here, obviously, you've got uh, uh, games and applications area. Uh, you go into this area here. Obviously, it will initiate the the 3D camera for you. Um, you've got your gallery. So any content, obviously, that you created, whether it be videos or stills will be placed in this area. Uh, we've got a unique partnership with YouTube 3D. So any content, any video content you've created, you can instantly upload without any additional kind of like software. Um, and any uh, content that's actually made available from YouTube, you can actually view directly from the player on this handset also. Um, the unique thing about this as well, obviously, uh, we've actually created a guide on this handset as well to allow you to, sh or to show you how to create, view and share, and how to connect obviously to any uh, uh, TVs or any computers basically should you want to actually view that elsewhere. Uh, it is uh, HDMI compatible, um, it's a micro HDMI compatible, so, and it literally kind of like mirrors the content on the TV once you throw it up. Can you watch that? Any, I know it wouldn't be amazing quality, but could you view that on a 3D TV? You can view that on a 3D TV, yeah. Okay. And providing, obviously, like say if you've got a full length movie basically in full 1080 basically on the handset in 3D, you can actually uh, show okay. that up actually on the TV. Um, or any, any content you've created, bearing in mind, content that you create in video 
can be fully captured up to 720 in 3D on this handset and uh, 1080 uh, in 2D on this handset. So tell me a bit more about the concert. I'm quite familiar with the games. I just had a little look and there was a concert on there. There was a bit of fashion TV. You yeah. really push this like the 3DS have just launched a 3D channel in the UK. Are you hoping that this is going to be similar? Uh, so yeah, I mean, with a slight difference, obviously, bearing in mind this is obviously a mobile handset, which is obviously, you know, everybody will actually have a phone in their pocket. So, I mean, you'll still have the functionality of an Android device where you can actually get into the marketplace to actually download content. Um, uh, but yes, we actually have 10 preloaded uh, video clips actually on the device to actually get people uh, going essentially so they can actually you know, play about with that should they need to. We are speaking with a number of partners actually to see if we can actually get uh, a movie uh, movie store in place as well oh, right, okay. at a later date. Uh, but for the time being, um, any content you possibly might have basically that you've actually got on your current handset yep. uh, that's actually captured in 2D, we also have a real-time 2D to 3D rendering actually on this device as well. Okay, so footage you've taken yourself? Or? Footage, it could be footage you've taken yourself basically yep. um, and then you've got it on a micro SD card from your previous handset you can stick it in here yep. any pictures or videos basically that you've taken you can literally just press the 3d button oh, I'll show you now actually okay yeah um, so I'm gonna come out of the 3d area basically yeah and if I go into the main gallery find it let's find a Find the 2D image. Right, and instantly what you'll see, it's not in 3D at the moment, no. but um, that's a 2D image that I took with a different phone. Different phone, okay. Yeah, and I press the 3D button and it will take it into 3D for me. That's pretty impressive actually, because yeah. I've, se I've seen a lot of um, 2D to 3D conversion, and that's yeah. pretty impressive for a phone. Furthermore, you can actually control the depth as well. Yes, I didn't realise, I just yeah. had to go in there actually, yeah. A bit like the 3DS slider again, exactly. isn't it? Yeah. Um, so it's set to maximum anyway, but obviously depending on the student strength of your eye, you can actually kind of like uh, change that should you need to, obviously using the actual depth control. Okay, and finally, just, um, this is an Android phone, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, in theory, do you think people, are you hoping that people will develop 3D games? Games, 3D video pops in the future to sell and Correct. make money Correct. themselves. So at the moment we've had um, we've had our 3D SDK basically, which was um, held um, uh, within our own space basically. Um, even then, from from MWC, we've had up to 300,000 downloads of our SDK. We've now actually published the SDK basically through the Android library, which is available as we speak. Um, so yeah, even now, people should be able to kind of like create um, S3D games basically as long as they're actually an OpenGL. But even further than that, um, there's a little caveat, a little kind of like a. a, a uh, thing to kind of like wait for actually once we actually because at the moment the handset's running on Android 2.2 2. Right. Um, When we actually do the uh, gingerbread update will deliver a further 2d 3d conversion So while we've only got pictures and video at the moment But we'll be able to do 2d 3d conversion for gaming as well as long as it's programmed in OpenGL language Interesting. Well, thanks so much. Sean. No worries.